Hi guys, for eons, gods have pretty much hogged the spotlight and called the shots. The strange and primitive belief that gods exist has influenced human mentality and it is embedded even today in our mannerisms and language. Even in mine, I, I cannot deny that. Now, theists, the people who believe a god exists, which handcrafted them and the universe along with it, and stalks them on a continuous and daily basis, they don't realize that we have left the necessity for gods behind. They are taught as children, mostly, that a fairy tale they hear is actually true. And so they believe this because critical thinking is switched off and declared prohibited and bad for you. They are dinosaurs who don't appreciate they have died out. They've, they've actually gone extinct. They just refuse to fall over. But the more I listen to apologists, the more I realize these guys are actually just shit scared. Their worldview, their basis of all thinking, and let's face it, for many the source of income, is vanishing as more and more people abandon these pernicious, misogynistic and, well, frankly, outdated beliefs, which really don't fit into our society, an educated and open-minded society in the 21st century. Well, at least we're getting there slowly. So what we have, we have this dichotomy where Muslims in particular are taught one thing, but realize that there's something wrong with what they are being taught. Unfortunately, the indoctrination and the brainwashing, that's, this is quite strong. Now, when the Ottoman Empire collapsed, Islam withdrew into a meaningless cult of crazies running around a stone in the desert. The phase where Islam tried to perform self-CPR and stubbornly refused to accept reality and highly dishonest and deceptive people came up with lies and false propaganda, misinformation and bully tactics is slowly coming to an end. What I see is that reality is finally setting in. Progressive, intelligent Muslims are realizing they were duped, cheated and misled with things like the, the outright childish and stupid claims of scientific miracles in the Quran. Now, they confused what part to accept and what part to abandon and on what basis. There are still some individuals who can't let go of their favorite toy, but must have realized what happened to them and see the tricks which were being used. But then again, I mean, let's face it, it's, it's real as well. The comfort and hope that these gods present and represent are quite tempting for some. And reality can be harsher than your dream world in a bubble created by religions. What is much more difficult is to admit that the entire ideology is just a giant sham, a castle in the sky with a foundation built on sand. Well, quicksand actually, which is slowly giving way and is swallowing Islam and all its claims. And now Muslims are getting scared. Many realize that the way of the Salafs, which some people still see as, as a way out, the, the original idea of Islam as a basis for a country run on the violent threats of a god and his Sharia, is not realistic and does not match what humans today represent. So the more we learn about Islam, the more we realize that the foundation is crumbling. And the more Muslims leave, the more information gets out to people who still don't understand Islam. So Muslim hardcore fundamentalists, the, the Islamists, are shit scared by now and are desperately trying to stop the flow of information, try to apply damage control and patch the holes in the dike against the flood of information now threatening to drown them. And one such attempt is utilized by this despicable guy, a member of a Muslim, get, a Muslim group in the UK who is trying to stop information from emanating from within Islam through Muslims making statements. Statements which might actually be honest, but which don't fit in with the desired propaganda. And this guy, he glorifies fighting and seems to think fighting is the solution for anything and everything. 
as people living in the 7th century culture and society of Arabia would tend to do. He seems to think destroying Jewish armies is the ultimate solution. But when he's not telling others, not himself, others to fight, he is just a contemptible coward, a hypocrite who tries to censor journalists and stop Muslims talking about their belief. He is poop scared. Somebody might say something about, I don't know, about slavery or sex slaves or all the other despicable acts condoned in Islam. And even today, practiced by some Muslims, today in the 21st century. And he does not like freedoms and free reporting. He does not appreciate personal opinions and thus is doing his best to warn people to keep quiet. In his blog, something a beard or something, he, he writes about a journalist who is apparently trying to talk to Muslims in the UK and find out what people following the doctrine of Islam are actually thinking. Now, Qureshi, this guy, tries to torpedo that by telling all Muslims to shut up, not to say anything, with, without saying why or revealing his source. He's just scared. He duplicated this on all sorts of platforms, forums, and people like those from, you know, these, these LDM of, of um, our era dutifully mirror this, telling their followers also not to talk about Islam because they might say something truthful and what might just be the opposite of what the different propaganda artists in the apologetics camp are trying to sell us. Come on, why not let Muslims speak? Why, why not speak the way it is commanded and propagated in the Quran? Talk to everybody about Islam and do it nicely in a civilized manner. Why not embrace the truth when so many names of Islamist groups contain the word truth? Why are some of these Muslims such cowards? What exactly are they afraid of? I mean, if they don't acknowledge reality and, and they don't do this soon, they will once again be seen as the crazies running around a rock in the desert. Thanks for your time.